and welcome to the Let's Get Real podcast. My name is Ned. And Lisa. Thanks for joining us once again. Today's topic is about... Is about patience and kindness. Absolutely. Kindness and patience. I was saying to Lisa yesterday, I think I'm the Thomas Edison of patience oh, and <laughs> kindness. <laughs> Edison had, I don't know how many failed attempts at making a light bulb. Was it a hundred and something? Well, no, I... Th- I googled it today and it was it was all over the map, so who oh. knows what the, the real count is. Anyway, you win. But I, I'm the Edison of patience and kindness. I've had a lot of failed attempts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not proud to say that, but yeah, I've certainly got a lot better at You're it. You're not alone course. in that. I, I don't think I'm alone in that. <laughs> so I, I wanted to start out with a story about when I used to work in the factory. And it, it relates to patience and kindness. So. I was working on the press one day and the operator kept turning it up and turning it up and I'm like, I could not keep up, nor did I want to keep up. <laughs> I wasn't interested in making big numbers for the company. So I kept protesting and telling the operator to turn it down, turn it down. He wouldn't turn the press down. <clears throat> so I finally, I was getting so mad that I, I, I was seriously consider punching punching out the operator <laughs> or punching him in the throat at least and so I, I got to a point where I was just my blood was boiling and I decided that I was going to take a walk so good idea I went out went to the bathroom and just sat in the bathroom for a few minutes and cooled off and while I was cooling off I suddenly had this vision that, and it was like this whole chart popped in front of my mind and it was about choice in that moment I had a choice I had a choice to make was I gonna go back and throttle my operator <laughs> or was I gonna go back and try to be a team player so but the the chart that came to mind in, in that situation was that I was in the center and I was in the center with this choice and then if if I went to the positive side of, of the choice, making a positive choice, it seemed like the harder thing to do. So it was like an uphill battle. But on, once I got to the top of that choice, all the work was at the beginning. And then the other side to come back down to the neutral position again was easy. It was a downhill slide. And then the other side of the, the chart was the negative choice. If I if I hadn't made a negative choice and went out and punched the operator, mm-hmm. it was easy. It would have been easy in that moment. I was I was really furious and I felt like that was my only solution. However, that easy choice was easy to make, uh, but on the other side of that would be a lot of work coming back uphill to get into a neutral space again. Mm-hmm. So I've I've looked I've thought about that chart many many times in in my life and how sometimes I I just, I need to make the right choice. And the right choice for me was to be loving and kind. So I went back out to the press and I I said to the operator, I said, look, I'm really sorry. I have not been a team player today. I'm gonna gonna try try my best to keep up and I'm sorry for being such a jerk. Well, then the, the next thing I knew, he was piling three quarters of the boxes for me and it my job got uh, twice as easy and we were going really fast but I, my job was easy at that point and in that and all that hard work I did to come back over the press and say look I'm sorry and I, I apologize it was it wasn't easy it was like making that positive choice it, it took a little bit of work and sometimes being patient and kind, it feels like a hard thing to do. Mm-hmm. Especially if somebody's yelling at you or giving you a hard time. There has to be that willingness to make a different choice. To, to, to grow, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I've been hearing a lot of people, of stories about people who have been noticing escalating impatience in the community. Yes, actually it was it was one of our one of our friends, um, Peggy, who actually suggested that we talk about this because she's been noticing just um, so much anger 
everywhere. Mm. Um, and I've seen a lot of it too. Uh, I guess it depends on, on what you're doing or where you are sometimes. But yeah, there's there's been a lot of um, a lot of complaining, a lot of negative feedback. I guess. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, and and so I just I wanted to tell that story about uh, choice and how making that loving, positive choice is, is not always easy. Mm -hmm. And But the, the thing about it is on the other side of it, there's so much reward. And, and I, I think it's something that we, we not only need to have with each other, but we also need to give ourselves love and kindness, love and, love and patience. And it, it can change the way that, that our bodies even operate, right? Where when we're it's the difference between coming from your mind, letting your mind take control, or coming from the, your heart. And you you notice like right away if if I'm being impatient, my body's constricted. Yes. I'm I'm stressed. And then when I'm being impatient with you, uh, what happens in your body? I close I close it right down. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's a natural response, right? Some of that is is me still um, dropping or healing stuff from the past, right? Um, but it's it's not uh, to go back into it. Like we're, we're consciously choosing different things all the time, right? To to come out of that instead of go back into that. Yeah, and so like when I'm not when I'm not being patient and kind with you, um, which isn't a lot, right? No, right now. No, it's really not. <laughs> not a lot, right? No, only. If, you're tired, or you need to eat, or... Okay, but I'm still a good guy, right? <laughs> you're always be a good guy. Am I you're still you're, your guy? You'll always be my guy. <laughs> I'm still so, your girl, right? <laughs> always be my girl. Yeah. So, but anyways, as soon as I'm not patient and tolerant and kind, uh, I notice my body constricts. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking on stress, and, and then it, it transfers to you. However, we we have a choice in that that moment, and, and again, this this factor of choice, or the rather the topic of choice, we have a choice in that moment. When when somebody we're around somebody and and they feel tense or they they they're not being kind. I I think the 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 perfect thing to insert in that moment is just compassion. Yeah, um, you're the one that taught me actually that. Uh you know, we need to love people like they need to be loved instead of like we need to be loved, right? And that's, that will a lot of times get you through that, whatever you're feeling, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and so I, I would urge um, people, and, and I've done this many times, uh, instead of me saying, like in my relationship, instead of me, if you're upset, instead of me saying, what's your problem? Taking, yeah. Mirroring you, taking on your stress, I say, how can I help you? And I, I think that's a more loving, positive yeah, because choice to make. Yeah. Clearly, um, whoever is upset is not already not having an easy time of things, right? That's right. That can make such a difference, and uh, it, it's such a contribution to the relationship or to even to, even to the world. Like I know that sounds um, really big to put it that way, but it is a contribution to to uh, to raising consciousness, right? Absolutely. And so I, I think the last the last point I would like to make and leave people with is that the the patience we give ourselves, you know, and, I, and I've already mentioned this already, but but the patience and kindness we give to ourselves helps us become more tolerant and patient with others. If if you notice that you're you're encountering a lot of impatient or unkind people in your days it's it's just a, it, let it be a trigger let it be a trigger to have you be more patient and kind with yourself go home be patient and kind with your kids your partner your your parents whoever whoever's in your life just let that let that be a trigger to be kinder to them there's so many ways we can do that too. The the power of a hug is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, instead of reacting, you can respond, and a hug is a good way to do that. Yeah. And I, I also do this thing where if I see somebody's really struggling, 
I see them as a child um, because it is their it's their little child that's that's sort of acting out, right? But really, like I, I can look at you, at, pretend you're you're this high, and nothing but compassion comes out of me instead. An another way to 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 bring uh, kindness is to to praise people. Oh yeah. And I've I've talked about this many times when I was with the Ashaya monks, the. The, the teachings that they had were based in praise, gratitude, and love. And that's a natural progression. If, if I say, Nisa, I really love your shirt. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Automatic. So, so pray, I praised you. Gratitude came back. And and then a natural state is that we feel Connection. love. We connect. Yeah. So that, that's another way to, to offer kindness is to praise people. Look for something that you would admire in them. And, it, and if, if it's just you and you're feeling low, praise yourself. Uh, applaud yourself for, for the, all the, the good things that you've done or all the accomplishments that you've made throughout your life. Yeah, our friend Paul uh, teaches about that actually. And it's, I think it's, it's rarely used that we do that with ourselves. Use that tool. Um, but the, the little person inside you wants to know that, wants to hear that. That's why we're walking around wounded, right? We need to give ourselves what we feel we didn't get. Yeah. I also cannot leave out to be kind to animals and compassionate. Um, there's always a place in my heart for that anyway. Uh, a lot of times people are, especially with the pandemic animals, um, they just they feel like they don't have time and patience. Um, but it's a living being too. And a lot of times they're just picking up on your energy. So if you notice your animal is acting up, or whatever, acting out, um, take a look at your own energy. But that, that, again, that goes for the rest of your household, everybody you interact with. Yeah, absolutely. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. Thank Hope you. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I did. I certainly did, too. <laughs> have, a, have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, we didn't wear microphones. <laughs> and of course, I didn't know this. I'm like Anthony.